hi guys what's up in this video we shall start creating an app that would help us in availing certain services such as renting a car and searching for car service centers and so on and in this video we will be developing an ui say for example a simple screen for this app say for example it is a starting screen for our app and the ui what we will be developing would be looking more likely like this And as usual, before entering the coding part, let us have a discussion regarding the widgets and the hierarchy first. Here I have used a simple menu icon, followed by which we will be having these text widgets, which are wrapped in a column widget. And within that column widget, at the end we will be having a row widget, which contains the location icon as well as the location. And at the center, we will be having this GIF and at the bottom we will be having a raised button which is wrapped inside a container with a rounded rectangle borders for having a smooth edge over that sides now let's get started with the coding part i have just made an initial setup where i have created a stateless widget class which extends a stateful widget and within which we will be having a scaffold and inside that we will be having an app bar first and the app bar will be having the background color we should set the background color I, uh, for now I just don't want the color for that app bar so I am just setting it as transparent and if you just set this transparent you will be having a black like shadow in order to avoid that we will be having elevation as zero followed by which we will be having the title which is wrapped inside a list tile inside that we will be having the trailing icon what you have seen in the UI before that menu icon here we shall just include it icons dot here it is clear all now here just set up with the app bar now we'll just jump out of that now let's just enter into the body the body has I just want a scrolling option and I am just giving a single child scroll view icon scroll view option for the body in order to avoid the padding overflow errors in horizontal or vertical manner whatever the device you wish to use and within which you will be having the child which i'll be having the padding with padding edge inserts not all i just want it for left and right so Agents of dot symmetrical within which horizontal 10. I just want a gap of 10 pixels on left and right side, so I am just giving it as horizontal, followed by which we'll be having a child which is the column widget. The column widget as usual takes the children widget. The first is the text which is rent or and let us apply styles for that with using the style text style where I will be giving the color as colors dot black sorry. Colors dot black and I'll be setting the font size as 35 followed by the font weight I just want it as bold just format it now we have just created 
a simple text widget now we just need to copy this because it is same as that of the first line now just want to change the text wordings service your car and all other things is same now I just want to have a gap so I am just using size box wherein I will be giving the height as 5 later then I will be having a row which take the children widget inside the row the first child is the icon one of icons dot location on and I just give the color for that icon colors dot gray after that icon let me give the text widget which is static for now by India and the styling with this copy it more likely to be same with just want to be somewhat smaller than the heading and all other things is same and, and here we just need to have it as a gray because we have already set the icon color as gray now we have just set the initial statements now we just need to include that image here we shall just get rid of that column now and it's image dot assert of search slash power moving is the gif what I am having here I just think we just need to have it after this row sorry and I'll be fitting that using the box fit method and where in box fit that cover we shall have and I will also give the width for that image wherein I will be allowing that image to take the maximum width it can but actually we have already set the padding as horizontal that is left and right will be leaving 10 pixels so it won't be a problem it would take the maximum width with 10 pixels on left and right side now we have just completed that image that is the gif now it's time to focus on the button at the end the button actually is inside a container wherein we'll be giving the width as media query dot of of contest dot size and width and height as something more likely 50 and I just want that to have a curved edges so I'll be having a decoration as box decoration inside which we'll be giving the color first and let us give the border radius as well with the value of 10 now here just set the containers shape followed by which we will be having the button now out of the box let's have the child for that container which is the raise button which takes the child which is the text which is started and as usual the styling for the text would be more likely like this 
and let us just copy and paste it with changes in font size as 22 and font weight dot bold and I just want this to be white because we will be giving the container color as black and for the rise button you will be having the elevation as 0 and as of now I just don't want any on press even for that so I will be giving that on press and you can also have the color for the raise button as colors or transparent because we have already set the color for that container as black so I just don't want the color for that button with which we will be ending the entire thing just format it it's good okay hope you enjoyed this video if you do so kindly give a like and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe so that you won't miss any of the craziest update regarding this app completion so thanks guys thanks for watching stay tuned bye